difficult since there's so much to say about why I love this community, but um, for those of you who don't know, yeah, I'm Heather Barker, and um, from the very first time I walked in those red doors and before I sat down, I was welcomed and approached by so many people um, and joined in singing the hymns with great gusto on my first weekend. I remember after the service, um, I think it was Marion Byers turned around and said, you like to sing, don't you? <laughs> um, yes, always like making noise. Um, and she said you should uh, talk to Steve Wolf when he's here the next weekend about joining the choir. So the next week, second week, I, instead of visiting other churches, as had been my intention, exploring the different, different denominations around Milwaukee, I came back and was remembered and welcomed to you and met more people, including the insatiably excited Steve Wolf, who <laughs> easily convinced me to come to that Wednesday's choir rehearsal. And by my third week here, in the uh, fall of 2018, I was in cassock and surplice, learning what those even were, and being taught by friendly choir members how to process down the aisle. I'll never forget Ian's double take of surprise at seeing me in the back of the church, third Sunday here, um, and felt just immediately at home on a personal level and able to be a part of this community and of the music, both listening to it and getting to make it, which is such a service to me. Um, and also just so grateful for the service that each of you give, not only with organizations like Diaper Drives, but um, as individuals. I have never asked for help and not gotten offers from multiple people. Um, and just so grateful for the way that you've welcomed me with all of my strangeness and flaws and the freedom you give me to welcome strangers as well um, into these doors or know that you will help as you have in the past for people who you've never even met before. Um, so just so filled with gratitude. We're thankful. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm Heather's sister, Heidi. Um, many of you probably met Heather first. I was actually here first, but only very sporadically. So um, my my beginnings at St. Mark's were quite different from hers. Heather moved here at the start of grad school, found this church, and plugged straight in right away. Uh, I had moved here three years earlier, also for graduate school. Um, you can thank me for convincing her to come here in the first place. Um, and I was looking at different churches and only discovered St. Mark's uh, right at the end of my three years of graduate study uh, and spent the next two years being mostly gone doing internships as a musician in other countries. Um, I found St. Mark's because of its connection with service and mission in Haiti. And my final project in my graduate studies was a fundraising recital that would take me to Haiti for a term to teach in music schools around the country. And so I had been seeking out other connections for service to Haiti in Milwaukee, and I found this church because of that. So I gave my recital here um, in this church and then left. And I was was gone uh, for you know a term teaching in Haiti and then back for a bit, uh, recovering from the subsequent malaria and then gone again for a term teaching in Tasmania and then back wishing I could stay but then gone again for another term teaching in Health System program <laughs> and finally moved back during the pandemic which is a great time to meet people of course so um, I love being back here what I what I am so appreciative of in spite of my sporadic. Uh, presence here over all of that time is that from the first time um, I was made to feel so welcome and so seen and so loved. Um, I remember a phrase that was spoken, I don't remember what part of the liturgy it was in, maybe it wasn't, but um, near the end of the first time that I attended the service here, which is that we are called to seek and to serve Christ in all people. And this church sought the part of me that is um, in God's image and serve that part of me. Um, and I see that every week, and I appreciate it so much, and I'm encouraged to do the same in my life. And um, that's happening through the music and through individuals here. So I'm so grateful for all of you and for this church home that I can call home now. <laughs> <laughs>